We are recording. Right now? Yep. Like, right now? Right. Like, the thing's on? It's on. Like, we should go. Yep, you're in there like somewhere, bro. Oh, boy. That's how it's fun. Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Chef Rick with Eat Marketing, and today we're going to talk about the Eco from Turbo Chef. So this is the Turbo Chef Eco. The Eco is the smallest unit in the Turbo Chef lineup from a capacity standpoint and from a size standpoint. The unit itself is a single phase, 30 amps. Um, it has a lower amperage on this particular unit from a single phase standpoint. The reason is because it has one magnetron. Um, some other Turbo Chefs, uh, like I said, the Bullet, the Sada, they have two magnetrons in it. This one has one. Um, so if you're going to be, if you're looking at doing a menu that has a lot of frozen items, you know, chicken tenders, uh, fries, what you can do in these, this unit in particular, you're just going to need to stretch out the time a little bit. So what I like to use this unit for, what we recommend here at Eat Marketing for this unit to be put into, is more of like a delicatessen standpoint, uh, pastry shop, coffee shop, those for those quick warm-up items, if you're doing breakfast sandwiches like we're going to do today, um, you're warming up muffins, you can do the single stack eggs or single item eggs, um, you know, stuff that you're going to be pretty much just warming up from a you know, room temperature standpoint or from a cold standpoint, but not frozen. This is definitely the unit to go with. Control panel on this, this unit is all touchscreen. So if you're used to using an iPhone, Android, this is what you're going to be seeing right here. So obviously I can change the temperature if I'd like to. We're in an actually in the edit mode right now. So I can change the temperature on the fly if I need to, um, up or down. I can program all my groups, which are all these items right here. Inside my groups, I'm going to have all my items. So if I go into apps, for instance, I've got about eight on this board, change it over, and I can program another eight items on those boards. So in each group, I can have 16 items. So quick math, it's around 244, 220 items that I can program in this oven at any given time. Therefore, you know, I can take everything from my warm pastry items into its own icon. I can have just all my proteins in one icon. If I have chicken items, I can do that in one icon. Breakfast sandwiches, doesn't really matter. It's totally programmable for your needs with the customer. Something a little bit different about the unit, we're going to look at the inside real quick. The unit is on, so it's extremely hot, so it will beep when you have the door open. It's got a plate right here, so the plate deflects the air to go around it. It also heats up the base of this, so if you wanted to cook something directly on the plate, you can absolutely do that. If you want to put a rack in here to let air circulate a little bit, uh, a little bit faster, you can do that as well. You can take the plate out when it's extremely, when it's cooled down, you can take the plate out. You can also take the base out. The base and the top both have impingers in it, just like all the other turbo chefs, besides the fire, that works off impingement cooking. Hot air in your motor gets sent out on the top and on the bottom. It goes through small holes at, you know, a set of pace of, you know, maybe 50 miles an hour all the way down to 10 miles an hour, five miles an hour, um, and it forces air throughout the cavity. In this particular cavity, we have set at 525 degrees today. So when you get into your kitchen in the morning, when you want to keep the oven on, this isn't like a traditional convection oven that you might have in an operation. The unit takes about 15 to 17 minutes to heat up. So there's no longer, you don't need to set the unit on. You know, if you're not going to be there or start cooking until 11 o'clock, there's no need to set the oven on at 9 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. When you get in there, kick it on at 10.45, and the unit will be up and operational when you're ready to serve. When, they, um, when you're done for the day using your Turbo Chef, you can hit the off button, cools it down. You can either open up the door to cool the unit down, or you can leave the door shut. Once the unit's fully cooled down, you're gonna take the parts of the oven out, spray them with your Turbo Chef cleaner, let them soak for about five minutes, scrub them down. I'd recommend definitely um, to keep this thing optimally uh, conditioned that you do it on a regular basis. I would say every day. So today for the items that I kind of chose to do, or items that I would definitely put through this oven to show you the test of what, what, it, what the capabilities are, and we're gonna do some things in stages. Sometimes you can do things all in once, but I wanted to show you the different items that we can do in a stage to build one item today or build two items. Um, one, we're gonna do a breakfast sandwich on a bagel. Uh, so we'll toast the bagel, we'll cook an egg, we'll you know, cook our, reheat our sausage patties, and then we're gonna melt our cheese on everything. So I'll show you how to kind of build it as a unit, or you can take that one item and you can cook it all at once. Second item we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to keep it kind of vegetarian. We did Beyond Meat Burgers. Um, we're gonna cook a burger in here, take the burger out, and then we're gonna put cheese on it and melt the cheese on the burger. So we're gonna use three different trays today. So I've got 
Um, Turbo Chef does come with the trays. I've got a, uh, I've got a flat tray, almost like a silk pad that you find in a pastry kitchen, meant for high heat. We're gonna use a perforated one uh, for bagels, uh, toasted items. And then I'm gonna use the flat, uh, flat one just like this. This is a, um, it's almost just like a thin sheet tray. So we're gonna get a sear on our Beyond Meat Burger so, um, so we can get the next caramelization on there. Since Beyond Meat Burger is, you know, from basically a raw standpoint, but it doesn't have any fat or any kind of grease associated with it, you're absolutely fine cooking it in the oven. Um, if you were gonna do a, a burger, a regular burger, what you would wanna do is you'd wanna use a um, already cooked burger and just to re it in there. The reason is because Turbo Chef has a catalytic converter. If you use raw fatty proteins over time, what's gonna happen is your catalytic converter is gonna get clogged up. It's gonna be no bueno for the oven. It's gonna be, it's gonna tear the oven up and it's gonna turn away pretty quickly. So let's do this. Let's reheat our sausage patties first. Okay, we're just gonna throw two sausage patties on there. So ahead of time, I went and pre-programmed the oven for us. So I've got it just set on a demo unit right now. So that's my group. I'm just gonna work off that for this. I'm gonna go to my item. All right, so I have all my items in here. I've got sausage patty. So I'm gonna take my sausage, throw it in there. I've got it set for about 45 seconds. There's like a two to three second delay on it. It's gonna kick right on. And as this is going, you can get your other prep ready to go. You can get all your items out. I always have kind of my items sitting next to me, but you can just have them kind of coming out as you're doing this. Um, so you don't have to have everything ready in front of you at once. Obviously, you're probably doing this. You're probably getting something else ready at the same time, so. So this is one, the re-therm. Just gonna set these right here. Cool. Now, we're gonna cook an egg. We're gonna cook an egg in here. Um, because then we're gonna do the bagels and toast everything up because the egg's gonna take us about a minute and 15 seconds. We've got a nonstick pan. Should put just a little bit of olive oil in there. Don't hate on me. I um I'm not a the way I learned I don't put pepper on eggs. It's personal preference, so um, I've just got salt on this today. So I've got my egg set in here, I've got my egg program in here. This was in an edit mode, you would just hit your egg, put your item in there, and it will start cooking. But I've got, like I said, I've got an edit mode. And if the egg's a little under done, I'm totally fine with that because I'm going to put it on my bagel when the bagel comes out. And it's going to get a carryover cooking because we're going to put the cheese on top of it. Alright, so our egg's done. Take it right out. Obviously, the pan's going to be hot. Got a cloth. So, on stick. Good to go. Let that sit for just a minute. Nice runny yolk. So it's about medium rare, I'd say medium rare, over easy. We we'll take that, and all we're gonna do now, we're gonna do our bagel. I'm gonna do an open face bagel, but see, I'm using a different, I'm using a different mat for this. I've got a perforated mat because I want a little bit more air to go through. So my egg's done. All right. Now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to my toast button I have in here set up. This would be a generic toast button, so I could have this set up for you know any kind of bread. If I've got bagels, if I've got you know regular white bread, wheat bread, doesn't really matter. It's about 45 seconds. 100% um, air, and I give it about 20% microwave. The only reason I give it about 20% microwave is just to give it a little bit of heat um, in there to soften it up just a little bit. Obviously, most of you guys probably already know if you use too much microwave um, or magnetron, I should say, with a uh, any kind of item that is uh, a bread item that has um, you know, gluten like that, what's going to happen over time? Use too much microwave. It's been great. As soon as it, when it turns out, when it sits by 30 seconds, 45 seconds. It's going to be hard as a rock. It's going to be worthless. So that's why I use just a little bit just to kind of warm it up. So while that's getting done, I'm going to take my tray here. Cool. All right. Egg is done. Nice and toasted. Cool. Perfect. So we're actually just going to build it right here. All right. Got our bagel. That. I'm going to egg it up. Egg right on top of it. Pepper jack cheese. Who doesn't like pepper jack cheese in a breakfast sandwich? All right, now, we're gonna put this back in the turbo shell. So, lo and behold, we've created a melt cycle on here. So all I did was, again, program to my liking or to what I thought was my gold standard. It can be any, doesn't really matter what the really customer wants, you can absolutely retrofit the item you do. All right, so we're gonna put this back in here, we're gonna let it rock and roll. So the melt cycle is about 35 seconds, at least that's what I kind of programmed it to be. Good amount of air, 
So a little bit of wave in there, a little bit of microwave in there. Um, just enough for that cheese to melt. We want it to brown just ever so slightly on there. Not, not kill the egg, but you're gonna wreath with that same time using a little bit of microwave to wreath around the items that are in there. Take it up, put it on a plate, roll it up into a wrapper, whatever you want to do when you send it out. Cool. Done good. There you go. See how the bagel's a little bit more toasty that time? It was perfect. That's it. Bagel sandwich. Breakfast in a turbo chef. There it is right now. So again, if you're in a situation where you have a um, you know, breakfast shop, you have a pastry shop, you have a coffee shop, these are simple items to do. Um, you don't have to do sauce from scratch or anything like that. You can buy the pre-made stuff or pre-made items, but you can have fresh eggs in there for a customer. You know, you can re-therm it, melt cheese on it, toast a bagel, whatever you want to do, but it gives you plenty of options. Cool, so now we've done a breakfast item. So now we're going to do, we're going to do a, a lunch or dinner item, depending if you want to have a small, small menu. You can take, you can take the Beyond Meat, crumble it up, make a case to deal with it. Um, you know, put it on some loaded fries, whatever you want to do, get creative with it. You can still do it in the Turbo Chef. But for what we're doing today, we're going to do, we're do a burger with some pepper jack cheese, some black beans. Um, we're going to make that vegetarian kind of Southwest vegetarian sandwich. So what we're going to do is we're take a Beyond Meat. That's it right there. Okay, so now I've got that set up on my turbo chef. Alright, so I've got a veggie pattern. That's all I did. Just program it as a veggie pattern. Cool. Put it in. My veggie pattern. And then let it rock. Alright, so, about 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Um, this one will probably be more medium. I think when it's all said and done, I've got a little bit of, I've got about 30 to 40 percent microwave in here, so I'm not going to try to blast it. Um, the microwave cooks from the inside out. I'm just going to get it with a lot of air though, because I want it to caramelize. So we're going to take it. As soon as it gets done in there, I'm literally going to throw cheese on it. I'm going to hit my melt cycle. I'm going to throw my buns on there, and we're going to go with it. Burgers ready to come out. All right. Got that. That's that searing. So we're using that. Obviously, instead of using a saute pan, griddle, or anything like that. See? Perfect. Take that. Slice the cheese on there. Put the buns. I'm gonna throw the buns on there. And toast up the buns at the same time. So now, go back. So we know our melt cycle works pretty good. We did it on our breakfast sandwich. We're gonna do it again just for this. Alright? Down there. Cook. How about 35 seconds. All right, so you take that into consideration. Now, we just did we did an entree. Okay, it doesn't matter what sides you have with it. If you want to have sides with it, you know, avocado fries, you're trying to keep it healthy, whatever it is you guys want to do with it, roasted vegetables, quinoa, it doesn't matter. We just did a burger in less than three minutes. Vegetarian burger in less than three minutes, start to finish. So you're talking about quick items in here. Absolutely, they're quits, they're quits awesome this unit. Um, like I said, we're not really using any frozen items, we're using items that are, you know, one items that are previously cooked, um, and no items that are frozen. Cool. That's it. Cool. Put that right here with my in it. So lettuce. Just build this bad boy. A little lettuce in the bottom. We got onions. I'm going to top this bad man with jamma. With some black beans that we did. We get bulked up today. Those on there. A fresh red onion for a little crunch. The lettuce. Um, we'll throw some hot sauce on here, whatever you want you to get down on. But that's it. There's our vegetarian burger today. How'd it taste, Rick? Oh, I think it's not bad either. All right, cool. So we just knocked out two items, less than five minutes tops. And we just did a sandwich. We did a breakfast sandwich, less than two minutes. I just crushed a burger, a vegetarian burger, in less than three minutes. Throughput, high throughput in the unit. Keep your ticket times down, because as we know, everybody's in a hurry nowadays. When you're in and out, you need stuff on the fly, definitely the way to go. Check out the Eco. Again, it's the smallest unit in the bunch. But man, it packs a punch. I mean, that rhymes. I like it. I didn't mean to do that.
That's fine. So again, man, thanks so much for joining us in the kitchen today. This is Chef Rick with Eden Marketing. Again, if you have any questions or concerns about the unit, if you'd like further information on it, please don't hesitate to reach out. Chef Rick at EatonMarketing.com or at EatonMarketing.com. We're more than happy to get a sales rep out to you as soon as possible, answer any questions that you might have. All right, have a good one. Take care.